What's good, family? It's your brother, Abdul. And today, we're gonna make vegan ribs. For today's vegan ribs, we're gonna use pumfu beans, onions, and pecans. Guys, this recipe is in my book as my meatball or my Haitian boulette, right? So, we're gonna use the same thing, but a little different, all right? And I'm also gonna be using jackfruit. So I'm gonna be using jackfruit, pecans, onions to bind and create the vegan rib. All right, guys, so we smashing our beans. Remember, it's just like the previous video from last week. We are smashing the beans, and then I'm gonna add the pumfu to the bowl, all right? So we're gonna create vegan ribs. I'm not gonna put the sugar cane stick or nothing, but we're gonna create the vegan ribs. Simple, easy recipes that are low budget. See the inflation, guys? A lot of people are struggling. These meals are for people that are struggling, and this is the last option, guys. You don't need to go buy those mock meats. Everything in your house. Guys, if you don't have any pecan flour, you could also use walnuts or any other nut other than this because a lot of people can be allergic, all right? So now let's, come on, let's add this in, but we're gonna add in our pumfu, crumble our pumfu, throw it in, mash it into it, mix it in, and then add everything, all right? So come on, let's go. All right, guys, so we're gonna mix our pumfu in with our black beans, and then we're gonna add in our onions. Let's add our onions and mix. It will be better to do this with your hands so you can make sure it's blended in nicely so we don't have no lumps, no pieces of pumfu, or if you're using tofu or whatever you wanna use. Just make sure it's smooth, all right, guys? Now I'm gonna add my pecan flour to the mix. I'm gonna mix that in. I'm also gonna add my jackfruit. The reason I'm adding the jackfruit is for texture. It's not really for flavor because we all know jackfruit don't really have any type of flavor to it unless you season it very well so as you can see this is what it looks like so remember we're going to use this to build our ribs all right family so i have some seasoning here which is my rib seasoning garlic powder all types of regular seasoning that i added together just to make it have that taste like vegan ribs. Hey guys, for that smoky taste to our vegan ribs, I'm adding some liquid smoke with a little bit of barbecue sauce, guys, and we're gonna add that into the mix. We don't wanna add too much because remember, this is gonna go in the air fryer and we're gonna base it with the barbecue sauce. So we want this as dry as possible. And the pumfu is absorbing all the liquid in the beans and the pecans, guys. Look at this. Look at how this looks, guys. It's going to come out incredible. You can see the tears from the jackfruit. It's going to be an amazing recipe. All right, guys. So just like the video last week, I'm adding my flour. This is spelt flour. So you can add whatever flour you want. But um, this is spelt flour. I got it from Whole Foods, so you could check them out if you don't know where to get it. And we're gonna mix that in so we can make our vegan ribs. All right, family, so we are done mixing, all right? So this is what it looks like after you mixed everything together, all right, guys? Simple, easy recipe guys free ebook is in the description below guys veganize your waistline this year for the 2024 using these simple recipes you could use your own type of bean your own type of flour just to make this guys we're gonna make the vegan ribs all right so now the meat mixture is already made so now i'm gonna add it into this pan right here and i'm gonna put this in the air fryer guys this is an air fryer rib recipe 
Come on, let's go. All right, family, so I'm adding some olive oil to the pan. And then I'm going to put this in the air fryer, guys. So I'm going to just make sure it goes everywhere. All right, guys, so I'm going to add some barbecue sauce to my pan also. And we're going to put the barbecue sauce exactly where the ribs is going to go. Mix it in with the olive oil. All right, guys, so I'm going to grab my meat. All right. And I'm going to make the mold. I'm not going to just throw it into the pan. I'm going to make a mold and I'm going to add more meat to it as I go. You can see how the pecans work so well, because look at that. You could create and make your own type of meat. This could also be a hamburger, a, a ribs, whatever it is. This is not for the grill. For the grill, I would definitely use a soy-free uh, TVP for this recipe, which I will do for you guys in the summertime, all right? So for this video, we're gonna use this meat, which we're using from home. So I feel that my mix is, the texture is perfect. So I'm gonna put it into the pan, and I'm gonna slab it down so I can start to create the illusion of ribs like I did from my previous videos. All right, guys, so what I'm doing is flattening and making it into a rib, right? A rack of rib. So that's what I'm doing. You can use a spatula or anything that you have that has a flat surface to recreate the version that we remember when we wasn't vegan you don't have to make it perfect guys because remember this is just to make it look give it that illusion all right family so now we're gonna make the lines right make it a nice thick rib this is the most annoying part All right, guys, so we're going to bring that in. Bring that baby in, let you guys see it from the side. All right, guys, so your yeah, ribs should look just like this. Nice and straight. Beautiful. All right, guys, so we're going to just try to slice it, but not go in too deep so that it could show you that you know it looks like it's like a rib all right guys so we're gonna go down but not too deep and then we're gonna bring it back together all right so now we're gonna push it back together all right all right guys so now we're gonna just mend them together now we're gonna add the barbecue sauce so we could cook on top evenly guys it's gonna come out delicious i can't wait all right, family, so I got my barbecue sauce right here, and I'm going to be adding it to my beautiful ribs with a brush. So we're going to brush it like so. It's going to be so delicious, guys. I can't wait for this to come out. This is going in the air fryer for about 20 to 25 minutes. Or just watch it, 15 to 20, and just watch it. After you put the barbecue sauce on top, you want to break them apart. This is a little trick so it could cook evenly in the air fryer. And then we're going to push them back together. All right, we're going to push them back together. All right, guys, to give our ribs some more flavor, I have some onions and peppers here. I'm going to add that into the pan on the side. This is for flavor, because remember, we're going to seal this up so it can cook. So I'm going to add some red peppers to it, some green peppers. Hi, right, family. So that's it. Now, put your vegan ribs in the air fryer at 350 degrees for maybe 20 to 25 minutes, just make sure you watch it. Cause remember, we're gonna cover it with foil and then we're gonna take it out, 
baste it with some more barbecue sauce and put it back all right we're going to do this twice the first time you want to let it rock for 15 to 20 minutes and once it hits that 20 minutes you go back uncover it and do it again and throw it in there all right guys come on let's go all right guys we're going to cover this up now let's go for the bite oh man family for this full recipe check out my free ebook in the description below hope everybody's having a good new year peace